Okay, the final step is simply the drying step. Uh, and what I have is a Tupperware bowl or tray that I've put uh, several layers of, uh, of paper towel in to absorb the moisture that's still in the seeds. And I'm simply going to take the seeds uh, that I just washed uh, in the strainer and dump them into this tray and then allow them to dry and uh, let me show you how that's done. Now, um, two things will happen here. Number one, it will take these probably about two days to get real dry, but in that time I still have to pay a little attention to them. Uh, first of all, if I've done a large amount of seeds, uh, this whole paper towel will uh, absorb enough moisture that it turns uh, reddish uh, from the juices. Uh, so maybe uh, tomorrow, if that were the case, and I still had moisture in the seeds, I might try to pick up that mass of seeds and uh, and put a fresh paper towel under to absorb more moisture. Uh, about 48 hours from now, um, most of the moisture will be um, out of it, and it will kind of dry as a little mass. Uh, but once it's dry, all you got to do is pick it up and crumble it between your fingers, and all the seeds then will fall off. And you have a jar, and you put them in a jar, and and there's your saguaro seeds. So that's how it's done. Uh, that's the time of year to do it. Uh, and so good luck and, 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 enjoy, and enjoy the collecting of your own saguaro seeds.